Hey Gadget Groupies, I gotta level with you folks. I don't let things go quickly. I haven't worn one in a long while, but I'm still mourning the death of Pebble. These days, I'm most often seen sporting something Android Wear, and for the last two weeks, that's been the Tick Watch S, a sportier take on the Tick Watch. Covered in a durable but soft touch plastic, hallmark left position button, which is muscle memory confusing for about a day, but has a somewhat mushy feel. The AMOLED face is on par for this class of wearable, easily readable outdoors, even in direct sunlight. Wi-Fi and Bluetooth are expected these days, both functioning well for my personal area network, but no NFC might be a bummer for folks wanting to use Android Pay from their wrist. The major hardware change, the tickle strip found on the original, is gone, in favor of a more rugged build, down to the non-replaceable watch strap. This wearable is designed around activity, and you won't be dressing it up. TickWatch did this with purpose, though, as the GPS antenna is built into the watch strap, not the watch body. But this still might be a stumble for folks who like a watch that can pull double duty, both fitness and fashion. It's a clean enough aesthetic though, matching my jeans and t-shirt wardrobe fitting all but one formal affair that I would have worn my Skog into anyway. The software also represents a major change. Tickwear is gone. The highly modified version of Android Wear for the original TickWatch and a more vanilla version of Android Wear 2.0 is in its place. People concerned about compatibility and updates should appreciate that. The S already on the list for watches receiving Oreo. The S does have some custom software baked in though, some nicely laid out fitness apps. It seems everyone has some kind of solution to match the Apple Watch's activity bars, and this all runs very well and plugs into the fitness tracking apps of your choice. But we do run into a few issues though if the focus is on working out. The Tick Watch S is IP67, so that's great for how sweaty I get on my exercise bike, but this probably won't be a great option for swimmers. I've also come to really enjoy background heart rate monitoring. The Tick Watch will track when you start a workout, but day-long activity and stress data would be appreciated, and this heart rate monitor seems to drop out more often than I'd like it to, especially during high-intensity workouts. Lastly, the battery life has just been okay for my use, easily lasting me a day but running lean by dinner. I usually don't have enough juice left for sleep tracking without a quick top-off. But we can overlook some compromises if the price is right. Full retail listing is $199, but it's easily found online for less. The Android Wear ecosystem has been a bit quiet of late. Sure, we're talking about Oreo updates, but if an Android watch is making headlines, it's usually because of a fancy partnership and a high price tag. The Tick Watch S ticks a lot of the boxes I liked about my Pebble. A casual vibe, snappy performance, and a price tag that still manages to undercut the recent price drops you can find on competing or older hardware. If you're looking for that all-rounder watch, Google features and apps built in with some focus on fitness, the Tick Watch S should certainly be considered. As always, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to this channel for more reviews like these. Give me a follow around the socials at some gadget guy on Twitter and Instagram, and I will catch you all on the next review.